Hey everyone, Demonax here, and today I want you guys to think of a spiral where Merle Ambrose is not our headmaster. He was not the one that found Bartleby or started Ravenwood. Instead, the founder of Ravenwood, protector of Bartleby, and master of all seven schools is no other than Lydia Greyrose. So the rumor was brought to my attention a few years back, but never gave it thought. Until recently when it popped into my head and I decided to do my research and see how true that statement was. So the first thing you would find when you start researching the topic is a quote by J. Todd Coleman, which is the old vice president and creative director and also the co-creator of Wizard 101. And he said, In my original draft, Lydia Greyrose was the headmistress of Ravenwood. Merle Ambrose was the ice professor. After doing early round of focus testing, we found that Ambrose was much more popular, so the two were swapped. Greyrose was given wings and turned into a fairy godmother. There we go, video done. No, 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 I'm joking. I would like to know more about this. So I did what I had to do and spent hours and hours looking at Wizard101 forums, Reddit posts, and anything in between. To my surprise, I actually found a lot of information on the topic. So let's get started with what I found. So let's start with something I found in the game, which is painting of Lydia Greyrose. But it's not the Lydia Greyrose we currently know. She's wearing a rose pink robe and a gray hat. Online, people actually think that it's an early model of her being a fire professor, but later on in this video, I'll prove that theory wrong. Also, looking at the video, Making of Wizard 101 Part 3, we can see for a split second a picture of Merle Ambrose, but it's different. It's ice. Right after the cameraman interviewing Evan Calderaro, which is a character animator, at second 55 in the video. Going off a lead I found on Reddit talking about a website that had some character models that were posted back in 2005. And trust me when I say I found the holy grail of Wizard 101 character models. The original models made by Adam Schumann, the original character creator and concept artist back in the day. He started back in 2005 and left in 2007. There were a bunch of models, everywhere from Cyclopses to Firecats, but there were two that really caught my eyes. Look. Lydia Greyrose, a full-sized human with a reddish rose robe and a gray hat, similar to the painting we found earlier. Which is probably where she got the last name Greyrose, because of the gray hat and the rose robe. But the second character model had me shook. It was Merle Ambrose, but it wasn't him as headmaster or an, as an ice professor, but as a storm professor. At this point, I was confused, and I couldn't find anywhere online talking about Ambrose being storm. But at least it would explain the lightning-looking hat that he wears. But that's pretty much it. I decided to look up some of the game artists that are still with the company, since it would be easier to contact them if I needed to than one that left over 14 years ago. So I started looking up Evan Calderaro, and to see if he had any information posted online similar to Adam had. But I found something better. An interview conducted by The Art of Warlord, which is a YouTuber slash streamer and also a big person in the Wizard 101 community, to Evan, read out by no other than J. Todd Coleman himself watching the interview to see if I could find any information to add to this topic. Evan said, and I quote, Greg was a person responsible for defining the foundation of Wizard 101 character art style. From Merle Ambrose, who was originally a much shorter ice professor with a hearing trumpet, to Lydia Greyrose, who was a full-size headmistress in gray and rose-colored dress. That's all I needed to hear. That was perfect. Sadly, that's everything I could find on the topic. Let me know if you guys find anything different down in the comments below. Also, let me know what you guys think of Lydia Greyrose being the headmistress. How different would the spiral be? Would we have ever found life, myth, and death magic since Headmaster Ambrose found those in Dragonspire? Would she have been one of the druids in the catacomb? All these things we will never know, but we can speculate. As always, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye bye.